Hey, Mom. Hi. I didn't expect to see you here. I got your message about Dusty's service. Please don't accuse me of using Dusty's death to manipulate you into dealing with me. Mom, I'm not. I'm glad you called. Dusty was a part of the family. He's like another son to me. Do you want to go over to the church with us? As a family? Well, if you two don't mind, I would love to go with you. Of course. You're not alone. The other day, Paul told me that it was every man for himself. He just lost his son. He's got to deal with that whatever way he knows how. And knowing Paul, that doesn't involve having family around taking care of him. It means a lot to me that you're here. I know I've made a lot of mistakes in this Mom, last Mom, one. Mom, none of that matters right now. Okay, we just have to pull together for Dusty, for Jeff. You guys ready? I can just drop this. I'm really proud of you. Hey, um, I heard about Mr. Donovan. Aaron told me you were really close. I'm, I'm so sorry. Thanks. You know, I just finished my shift, and I'd be happy to sit for Hallie while you're at the service. Thanks, but we, we already have a sitter. I'm ready. I told you not to be here. Oh, well, this is getting ridiculous. Why don't you take the hint? Okay, fine. I'll leave. But that man was not the saint that you're all about to make him out to be. Oh, I pray God cannot read my thoughts right now. Mom, let's just find a seat. Come on. No, no, no. I have to talk to the minister first. No, yeah, we'll continue with that. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I, I, I mean, I am so sorry. Every time I see that man's face, it reminds me of what I've lost. I've lost Jennifer, lost Johnny, and now Dusty. And I miss Hal so much. I just... I miss them all. I know we're here for you. I know it's not the same, but thank you. It means a lot. Thank you for getting Will here today. Actually, we decided together. Hey, I don't I don't mean to bring this up now. I don't want to make you self-conscious, but I noticed that your speech sounds like a little off. I noticed it at the house the other night. You okay? Yeah. I I I've um I had a little dental work done and they didn't do a very good job, so I'm gonna have it redone when I have a chance. Thank you. Well, the minister just arrived. He said he wants to give it a few more minutes. Thanks for taking care of that. What do you think? First met Dusty. I didn't like him very much. He was so tough. And I, I just tried to stay out of his way. And then... I fell in love with my sister, and uh, I realized that that tough exterior that he had was just the face that he showed people that he didn't trust. And underneath it all, he was really just a big teddy bear. I know from experience that finding the love of your life can do that to a guy. And falling in love with a child can do that too. And Dusty was crazy about Johnny. It didn't matter that he wasn't his biological father. That kid was his just as much as he was Jennifer's. And Johnny made them both better people. And isn't that what being a parent's all about? The saddest part about Dusty and Jennifer's passing is that they never got the chance to experience the joy of watching their child grow up. After all the garbage they went through in their lives, they, they, they finally had the chance to be happy and it was ripped away from them. I, I hope that they're together now. The way they should be. Because they deserve it. Would anyone else like to speak? Thank you for letting me go with you. It made it a lot easier. You hungry? Because the sitter said that she could stay for the afternoon if she wanted to get a bite to eat, lunch. Yeah, I've been, I'm actually craving a burger. <sighs> you two are pretty transparent. You need to go home to your baby. Okay. Um, 
Can you be all right? I'm fine. Get home to that little girl. I'll call you. I hope so, Will. You can go, go to the dentist. Go to a new one. You just get that taken care of. Yeah, I will.